Hello again. My name is uh, J. Michael Bennett. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine physician who specializes in minimally invasive surgical options for surgery of the shoulder, elbow, and knee. And welcome to another uh, video edition of the Whiteboard Series. Today we're actually just going to go in a, a behind the scenes look at what happens at the time of surgery and what to expect when you're about to have surgery. So really it all starts here in the preoperative area when you as a patient shows up you basically are going to find yourself laying down here and you're going to have a nice nurse or, a, or an anesthesiologist or even a CRNA, which is a certified registered nurse anesthesiologist, come by and actually make sure you're comfortable um, and to get your IV situated and uh, basically talk to you a little bit about the procedure. Usually it's followed by the surgeon uh, who will go over the consent with you about the procedure that you're going to have. It's important to always make sure that the surgeon signs the appropriate extremity or leg that they're about to operate on and it is important that you understand exactly what you're going to have done to you and that is written on the consent and uh, that you go over all the risks, benefits, and possible complications of the procedure uh, before the surgery and oftentimes this is discussed before even stepping into the preoperative area, maybe in the clinic setting, just depending on uh, your physician. Next at this point in time, we discuss the anesthesia options, and that's usually done with your anesthesiologist, and that, uh, that can be determined a lot by your, your uh, predisposed health conditions or the type of surgery that you're having done. Uh, some patients that, have, uh, that are very high risk, such as with uh, severe cardiovascular disease or heart disease that have had multiple heart attacks um, or uh, multiple medical issues may not be a good candidate for general anesthesia so sometimes those can be actually those patients can actually have uh, maybe a local block or sometimes an epidural um, or what we call a beer block where you actually numb the arm downward and you use a tourniquet to trap the anesthetic in that area that you're operating. Um, the the uh, types of procedures that you can do with those types of blocks are very limited, but the most common one I'd say would probably be a carpal tunnel syndrome release uh, that, that can be done with a beer block with the patient awake or at least having them uh, relax in a relaxed condition with a block. In addition to that, if you do undergo general anesthesia, the big benefit that I think is, has been made over the past 10 to 15 years is the um, addition of extremity blocks regarding surgery, uh, particularly with arthroscopic surgery of the shoulder or the knee or the elbow. Um, in, in addition, it also works very well with open procedures. It's an extremity block or a, um, or a plexus uh, block. And what the block does is basically keeps you pretty much pain free for the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery. So when you wake up, you don't wake up in pain. And uh, it gives you a chance, once you're getting through the anesthetic uh, and recovering, to actually kind of gauge your pain and take your pain medication accordingly after surgery. So the pain just doesn't hit you like a ton of block uh, bricks after the procedure. Uh, so it's very important that you discuss that option with your anesthesiologist before you go to surgery because I think it's a very good option. That is available to uh, the majority of patients out there. Uh, particularly regarding extremity surgery. So now, after you go to the preoperative area, you've discussed with your surgeon the procedure that you're about to have, you've discussed with your anesthesiologist the type of anesthesia you're about to have, that's when they basically move you from the preoperative area into the operating room. And we'll go over some, uh, basically show you behind the scenes look at inside the operating room and what to expect in the OR, okay? So if you have any questions regarding your surgery, please discuss it thoroughly with your physician before the procedure. You do not want to wait till the day of surgery to ask any kind of important questions like, you know, what's the risk associated with surgery? What are my options? Um, is this really necessary? This all, all needs to be discussed and thoroughly thought about before the day of surgery. We want you to be relaxed. We want you to be confident about your procedure and confident about your surgeon the day of surgery and, and, and we want to get you fixed up and, uh, and, and in the most expeditious and efficient way possible. If you have any other questions, please go to my website. It's uh, jmichaelbennett.com or orthopedicsportsdoctor.com or please feel free to call my office at 281-633-8600 for a consultation. Thank you very much.